This lesson is to show an example of a percentage problem that I've kind of been calling the Harry Met Sally problem. And let me just get right to um, this example. So suppose you have $50 to spend on a wedding gift. Tax. Hold on, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on, I'm going to pop. All right, um, tax is 9.25%. And um, wrapping costs 450. And the question is um, what price? gift can you afford? So we'll start with the, the beginning part. So the 450 um, is sort of after you've paid the tax and, and the price. So the 450 is going to come off of the $50 right off the bat. So let's just do that right, right away. 50 minus 450, which is 45.50. That's the amount you have to pay for the price of the of the item, whatever you're buying, plus the tax. So we're really, really looking at how much can the price be if you have forty-five dollars and fifty cents to pay for the price and the tax. So let's work on that. So next we'll look at what nine point two five percent means in this case. It means that if the item costs a hundred dollars, you'll pay nine twenty-five in tax, and this would be great. This would be great if you either knew how much tax you were paying, or you knew what the price was, because then you could solve this proportion. Because you'd have three out of the four unknowns, and you'd, you'd do your thing. But unfortunately, we don't know how much tax you're paying. And we don't know the price. What we know is that we have forty-five fifty to spend. But we can use this idea to help us out. If really the price is a hundred dollars and tax is nine twenty-five, then if the price is a hundred dollars, so I'm making a new proportion now with new radio ratios. If the price is a hundred dollars. You're going to have to pay 109.25 to pay the price plus the tax. So, so in a certain respect, what you have to pay um, altogether is 109.25 percent of the price. So let me write that down altogether. You must pay 109. 0.25 percent of the price of the item. So now we now we're getting somewhere. Now we have um, you know and I'm just going to call this the total rather than price plus tax. I'll just call that the total. Um, so it's a little bit easier to write down. So in the next slide, what we're going to do is say, okay, great, we have a, a ratio here, 109.25 to 100, and that's the total ratio of the total you're going to pay to the price of the item. And now we do have one of these other numbers. Oops. Especially if we write 4550 rather than 4540. And we're looking for this, this last one. We're looking for what price can you afford. So now we're looking, now we're, now we're there. I mean, once you're here and if you get used to how proportions work and how to find the multiplier and or if you're not in my class and you're cross multiplying or whatever you're doing, um, great, you're you're there. So let's do what we've been doing in, in this class, which is to find the multiplier by taking the 4550 and dividing by 109.25, and so that's going to be the multiplier down here too. 4550 over 109. 
So now the price is equal to this problem, which I'll do the 100 times 45.50 right off the bat, 45. 50. I just moved the decimal place over two spots because I'm multiplying by hundreds. Got two zeros. Divide that by 109.25, and my calculator calculator says, let's see, 45.50 divided by 109.25 comes out to approximately 41.647. I'm just putting a couple of the the digits out here. Seven, but we make sense to round to the nearest penny. Um, and honestly, you can only afford forty-one sixty-four because it would be a little, little bit off um, if you put forty-one sixty-five. But I kind of like putting forty-one sixty-five here, with the understanding that if you're short a penny, you get to the register at Macy's, and you're short a penny. Guess what? They'll give you a penny. So, all right, that's it.